Now we are going to discuss a question from December 2016 question by Prof. Life Sciences and Physical Sciences. The question reads like this. Two ion spheres of radii, 12 cm and 1 cm, are melted and fused. Two new spheres are made without any loss of ion. Their possible radii could be. So the question is to find the radii of the two new spheres. Let us take the unknown as x and y. That is, let x and y be the radii of the two new spheres. The question says that initially there were two spheres with radii 12 cm and 1 cm. They were melted and fused to make two new spheres. The question clearly says that there were no loss of height. That means some of volumes of the initial spheres and some of the volumes of the new spheres will be the same. Now what is the sum of volume of initial spheres and the new spheres? We know that for a sphere, 4 by 3 pi r cube is the volume, where r is the radii of the sphere. So, sum of volume of initial spheres will be 4 by 3 pi into 12 cube plus 4 by 3 pi into 1 cube. And sum of volume of new spheres will be 4 by 3 pi into x cube plus 4 by 3 pi into y cube. They both are equal, that means simplifying we will get it as we can take this 4 by 3 pi outside that is 4 by 3 pi into 12 cube plus 1 cube equal to 4 by 3 pi into x cube plus y cube. We can cancel out this 4 by 3 pi from both sides. Finally, we will get the equation as x cube plus y cube equal to 1729. We have to find the value of x and y from this equation. There is only one equation and there are two unknowns. Mathematically, if you are trying to solve this equation, definitely it is too difficult a task. So the best method you can use here is by trial and error, that is you can put the answer options into this equation and see which answer option is satisfying this equation. Considering option 2, that is 9 cm and 10 cm. Let us put 9 cm and 10 cm instead of x and y. That is 9 cube plus 10 cube. 9 cube is 729 and 10 cube is 1000. 729 plus 1000 is exactly equal to the right hand side 1729. That means option 2 is satisfying this equation. You can see for yourself that option 1, option 3 and option 4 is not satisfying this equation. So option 2 is the only answer. This video series is primarily released as an additional resource for the readers of the book CSAR and General Aptitude and New Outlook. If you don't have a copy of the bestseller book, you can buy it from Amazon, Flipkart or Paytm. If you want more study materials on general aptitude, you can download our free Android app CSAR and General Aptitude from Play Store. For clearing your doubts on general aptitude, you can visit my personal website www.christyvergius.it. For watching more videos on this video series, you can subscribe the YouTube channel Nigby General Aptitude. This video series was made in association with Nigby. I thank Nigby for this initiative. Thanks for watching.